What's up, everybody? We're gonna do a package unboxing. Actually, maybe two of them. I don't know how we're gonna do this. So, yes, got another package. Have another one coming in tomorrow, so I don't know if I'm gonna combine these videos or not. But let's see what we got today. totally miss having my table up here. <laughs> I totally want my table back. Come on. Open. Still need to sharpen my knife. Alrighty, look who we got. We got at the end. Uh, 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 obligatory shredded invoices. Down in the nooks and crannies, too. Here we go. Go get it. Now that we got rid of that, uh, this is mostly door locks, but we have our C9100s that we're missing a few up here. Uh, we've just started putting a box in the back for those. So I'm just going to pull everything out and put it here for the time being because a lot of this is just going straight in my truck. Mostly restock. We have a chrome double cylinder, antique brass double cylinder, chrome double cylinder, all in wiser keyway. Antique brass double cylinder. Been going through some door locks lately. Another antique brass. Got three of those. Uh, chrome quick set copy. Quick set tallow style knob and antique brass tallow style knob. And just a handful of keys down in here. So that is it for this box. That's why I'm probably going to just combine boxes. But we have A1515. This is the old Medico Air key, I think it was. Uh, a couple of CG16s just because I uh, looked up and saw it didn't have any. And uh, then five pin, 1515, same thing, but five, same thing as this, but five pin. And these are actually a special order that I'm about to go cut all of right now. These, actually a couple of my other customers use those. So keep a small supply on hand. Usually have the keys pre-cut ready to go. So that is it for this order. That all, again, is going in the truck. And a handful of these are going to go up here, and the rest, Kim just gets them up in the, the bulk box in the back. The bulk box in the back. We'll keep a few hanging up here as well. Get on, get on that hook. For the retail sales, but everything else. Goes in the back. Good grief. We got a lot of 9300s, so somebody will come in and buy them all at once. Uh, all right. And uh, let's put these keys up. So you can use a Y11 for CG16. No big deal. But we do like having the option when it calls exactly for a CG16. We do like to furnish the exact key for whatever we're doing at the time. Get up there. Uh, so we don't really buy these in 50 count anymore, like Y11s, because you can use Y11, but you can't use a CG16 for a Y11, so better to keep a small quantity of these and a bigger quantity of Y11s. Uh, only other keys were the Medicos, and those are kind of hiding way back there in the corner because they are less used. I uh, stuck this whole section over there out of the way of stuff that is not used as much anymore. So that's kind of all alphabetized on its own, A, B, C, D, E, M, blah, blah, blah down to 
uh, where regular keys start. So yeah, that's just my little section of no, no key, uh, lightly used keys with these Medicos being one of them. And I've only actually got a hook up here for oh, the six pin. I don't have a five pin hook. I guess I could use this 43 hook right here. Move this over. Move this over. Move this over. Move that over. And do do but only uh 15 of them are going to be cut so only five are going to go up there and i actually have to cut quite a number of these so probably because this is a new customer i'm going to pin up a old medico core to their key so that when i make the copies i can check it kind of like i do any of my customers that uses a lot of these old keys most of the time these people buy these in quantities of 15, 20, so it's good to keep a, uh, a keyed up cylinder so that you can check it for them or just key it up. So anyway, let's go, uh, let's go do these. Alrighty, got it decoded and pinned up, but the key they furnished me looks like it is a little shallow there shallow on the middle cuts but that's the right key because the next size up is too deep so it looks like they were off a little bit there i don't feel overly comfortable uh keying this up but as another locksmith probably i'm gonna take a wild guess probably smoothed out the cores to make them work because if this key works then that means somebody has uh, done something to a cylinder to make it work, because otherwise it would catch. I don't know where my sidebar, I don't know where my cylinder sidebar went, but I'm just going to not turn it to that position. <laughs> if you turn it to the left 90 degrees, the key actually works though. That's pretty surprising. Uh, the pins will drop down and catch in that open sidebar slot. So we don't want to turn it to 90 degrees to the nine o'clock position. That would be bad. I'd have to dump all the things right here. All right, well, time to go make some keys. Here we are with Kim opening a package. <laughs> Crazy. Package Crazy. opening Wednesday. Oh, it's what is that? Oh, that's the that's return. return. Kim is after the return label. Y'all don't ever order from A F M L L C. They suck. They suck. Their customer service is terrible. They send you out the wrong product. They say they're gonna send the product right back out, and guess what? No. So, you know, because they've been in business for eight years and they know what they're doing. Don't order from them. It's a headache. You what won't did, be happy. What did we get? Let's oh. see if it's the right thing. Yeah. Oh, yay, they got it. So it this is, the right is thing? a key to learn them. Um, learn them. Um, uh, Sliding yeah. plastic. Yeah, this is a surface mount. This is a guide thing that goes in the hole, but yep, surface mount. This is pretty much the only full-size cylinder surface mount door lock for sliding patio doors that is out there. Oh, they sent, they sent each one. Okay. I guess because I messed up. They sent, I don't know if they sent one or two on purpose, but anyway. So we have this for sale if you need a surface, <laughs> if you need a surface mount. At which point you can buy it from us and not them. That took it took us forever to get. Uh, comes in chrome and bronze. Uh, it is fairly expensive. If you need a surface mount patio door lock with a full size key cylinder, 
hit us up in the comments. Uh, in the meantime, did you get the right bag? Yes, you did. Uh, in the meantime, so that that's how Kim opens distributor boxes, right? So uh, going back to my video, they suck. <laughs> they suck. I'm totally gonna slow that down. It's like they suck. They suck. They suck. All right, here is the actual part two. <laughs> Oh, we love this one. Look, additional parts inside. Uh, yep, here's part two. Let's go open this one. Different distributor. Okay, let's open our thing. That's a long thing. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> That's one. my line. Literally. That is my line. You I think I'm supposed, use to be my line. supposed to be cutting this way because everybody yells at me. Well, not everybody, but. Well, you've had that knife for a while. You seem to know what you're doing with it. Uh, pretty much. So. And you bleed every day anyway, so. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, yeah, just we've got a bunch of keys it. and one long tool. <laughs> so they just dumped all the keys in the bottom of this. I uh hope. -huh. Maybe. Oh, oh. Careful. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, there's a, ah, oh, there's a staple. Ah. Staples. I hate staples. Well, it's a shame this isn't live because I could tell them that, you know, they should join us tomorrow night for Fondred Unwrapped. Um, I don't think most of them would be able to come. No, but, you know, there's another staple. Be careful. Yeah. Watch your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me get it out of the way. <laughs> step, step back. All right. We're just going to we're gonna rip it open. Oh, look, oh my gosh. Here, what's this? What's this? What's this in here? Are we? Yeah, you are. No, we are. We are. Oh. 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 All right. Oh, oh. All right. We have. Oh man. What? More. <laughs> okay. Can't complain about it being not well packed though. This is true. So we have. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have cylinders. We have completed the A eleven F five collection. With uh, purple to replace one that we sold. A lady came in and I had them all out on the counter. She's like, I need a, I need a cheap padlock. Uh, two cheap. blue, two purple. Well, she liked them though. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> she liked the purple, so she bought one. It's purple. And one? One. No, it's them. probably in there. They probably one. found it funny. No, I bet you anything, there's just one in here. And there wait, there we go, another box. Ugh. Probably find the other one in there. How many did you order? Uh, five. But I told her five, and then I said, "Well, I think they come in a five pack, so just one pack." <laughs> nope. <hang laughs> on. Here they are. Okay. Okay. So this is the crapshoot. When you order these individually, four one zero zero one, you don't get a choice on the colors. So we were needing purple. Thank goodness we got. Oh, we got two purples. That's awesome. We've got uh, plenty of red. No, well, yeah, we a green, a green. We have too many blues, but blue is ugly. but they didn't have the. Uh, usually we buy the ten count, but see those ten count don't come with packages. And I've noticed that the ones in, without packaging are not selling. That's like, because people pull on them. They, they think it's messed up. All right, uh, everybody, night out, especially. Thanks for reminding me about my springs for GM10 cut. Yay! And uh, let's get to, uh, there's nothing but keys and a, and a brush. It's brush time. I'm Yay! Like, no, it's not quite yet time. <sighs> not, you like when it gets down to a nub. Not quite. I don't like, like it's it like a that. A nub on metal. <laughs> uh, but, but they're expensive, so. You've been waiting on these, haven't you? All my life. How did you know? Schlage one inch tail pieces for B160 series deadbolts and Mo Keys. Mo Keys. Mo Keys. Oh, that lady needs her lock. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's what oh, these keys are here, folks. My favorite. Don't know why, but this one's my favorite. I basically wiped out Memphis. Is that uh, why it's flooded? Okay. Huh. Gee, your Venice was underwater? Oh, that's terrible. That is terrible. We don't have any it's Venice flooding. people. Ooh, those are gouty. Oh, Look how gouty those are, babe. Perfectly gouty. 
Gaudy. <laughs> Gaudy. 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 Uh, so I tried out some different ones of these because I know these flags are too wide, so unfortunately I have to cut them down. Uh, but I took all I could get from that, was all right. that location. No. Gaudy. Gout. You make it sound like it's got gout. Gouty. So, uh, we gotta put these over here, put those down, and then I got a handful of assorted, that's two different ones. Uh, and you can see the head shape's a little bit different there. And I that's kinda neat. think it is. I like that. Jump back, Jack. Give me my key back. Oh, look at right, I got one guys. right here. Look, Kim's showing off the key. I can't remember what the slight difference is, but there is a slight difference between these two, and it's yeah. not just the head. <laughs> I want to say, ah, well, it was the thickness. This one's thinner and a bigger flag, so. No, it's pew. 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 Okay. Anyway. Okay. I'm going to go home and make dinner, guys. I'm leaving you with him because he's way more informative and, well, oh. Oh man, now I and hate these, it when they do these that. These are so much more fun than these I am. These are pricey too. I always, hate those things. It's always expensive. Seventeen to buy years these. later, and I still can't do that. <laughs> hey, where's the red one? Oh, there it is. And uh, yes, what is buried in here is uh, I think the last thing is that. Oh, I'm liking how thin this long reach tool is. I kind of messed. Hurt yourself. I kind of messed up my long reach tool the other day, y'all. Don't hit me. Ah! This is not very flexible. Oh, here. Stop. Why do you hurt yourself? Or hurt or me? Save me, Something. Kim. <laughs> Save me. There is no saving you. I don't know why she's doing that, but she's about to leave. <laughs> I got it out, didn't I? Thank you, dear. What's that? Oh, a uh, instruction manual. Oh, I How to use that. a long reach tool. Oh, hey guys, before I, I leave, I got to brag. Oh, look what I caught. Oh. <laughs> and uh, this is a replacement. We for celebrated our 17 year anniversary I last know. Friday. I they told them on Saturday morning live. Oh, well, now I'm telling you, so it's official. This is our, uh, these are strictly here to donate to our rescue shelter who breaks theirs every few months. Way past time for them to break it. Oh, you got their backup already? Two of them, actually. There should be one down in there. But let's look at this long reach tool, y'all. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> that is way longer uh, than mine. Is it huh? supposed to be bent like that? I don't know. I'll scoot out. we got to scoot out. Careful. You might take my eye out. 58 inches. Can you scratch my head? So uh, the <laughs> last the last one of these I had was black, oh. and uh, oh. okay. <laughs> about this same diameter, and it ended up bending the handle in because when you're at the when you're at the car, it's that long. Something. It's like hard to pull because it's so long. So I may end up having to bend this sucker. It's already bent. But it's orange. It's orange. It matches your sweatshirt. <laughs> I thought about getting a more expensive glow in the dark one, but. I don't think that's necessary. You're not the one out there fighting <laughs> cars. No, I am I not. I don't think that's necessary. My oh, Irish. Look. This is. The uh, band's taking. Oh, well, they already pulled their signs. Yeah. Oh, hold this. I feel so professional. Go open a car, too. No, you don't want me to do that. I would have better luck throwing a brick through a window. Okay, have fun. Bye, right. <laughs> <Hi> guys. Bye, <laughs> right. guys. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Is that it? Uh, sure? Except for one. Don't fall over the shit. One more. Some paperwork. Well, I'll take that. I'll take this, too, before you take me out. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, wait, throw all these you on the head. Ow! Good job. That hurt. Good job. Paperwork. Debris. Debris get a writer of her. How do you use the long reach tool? I'm about to show you all some sensitive information. Yeah. On how to use the long reach tool. Oh my god, Jason showed sensitive car opening information on YouTube. Anyway, yeah, uh, that's pretty much what you do. You 
just stick the thingy in there and reach down and grab the thingy or poke the thingy and voila, the car opens and you get paid. So that's how that works. And uh, I'm gonna go hang up, hang up some stuff. Let's go talk about this lucky line crap. Hey, does anybody have one of these? Like, have y'all ever used one? I've really, back in the day when I did tons of car opening, uh, they didn't have these things. So this is newfangled tech, even though it's kind of old newfangled tech. And I've never ordered one, uh, really because I don't do car unlocking at night nearly as much as I almost, well, almost never really. We reserve that during the day. But uh, has anybody uh, tried one of these? If you have, post it in the comment section. Let me know which brand you've tried and if you like it or not. I'm sure others are interested in that. Hey, hey, my board didn't get, uh, no, wait a minute. My board did not get bent. Let's put the purple here. I gotta label them still. Uh, let's, just see, let's just do this. Let's just do this. Or throw it down. Did not get bent and it says the right thing too so we are going to take this one down farewell put that one up remember to get our red one and the only thing is is people will come in and buy these all in one color we've got a guy that hits us up once a uh, once a month and he buys it's usually 10 to 15 of them, but he gets all the good colors when he does it. Uh, and now we have a bunch of colors left over, so we just hang them up right ah, come off here. A bunch of purples. We're going to have a purple sale. I'm going to see if he'll buy the purple. I'll give him a good, I'll give him a good price on purple if he wants to. All purple. Oh, we, we do have to write the price down. Come on, off. purple, purple, purple. What we got? This is eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whew, tons of them. Tons of purple. Two ninety nine. Three twenty five. Three twenty five. I like 25 as a number. This pen sucks. This pen will probably suck too. 295. No, it doesn't suck. 295. Uh, here's where I was talking about the ones not labeled yet. I do rotate these because the sun starts bleaching them out after a very short while. And uh, I did want to order, I did want to order the uh, black and green. However, I was getting all this out of one location, being Memphis. And even though Flake will gladly ship you from two different locations, I was just like, oh, whatever, no big deal. No big deal. Let's just sell the ones that we have more of when that happens. If somebody comes in wanting green, but five of them, they may choose to go red instead. So it really helps us cut back on some of the quantity there. And uh, flashlight pigs. <laughs> Those were, let's talk about flashlight pigs. We really got flashlight pigs quite a while ago, probably four or five years ago. Somebody came in the other day wanting one and we opened it up and the pig is sticky. It's a sticky pig. They were all tacky. It's like a, ugh. it's like a nasty tacky and see your thumbprints pick it up. However, yank it out. lovely it's unfortunate that they're sticky pigs though and i have not uh, really discovered a way to get rid of that sticky i think it's always going to be sticky 
Uh, looks like I need, uh, again, this was one of those same, same situations where you buy random colors or assorted colors, and I ended up with a bunch of purple. Again, purple is just not a, not a popular color, unfortunately, except that purple for some reason. That one goes pretty quick. Anyway, I'm, uh, me and the Sticky Pig are gonna go up here and uh, look at some keys, put some keys on the shelf. Oh! I'll do this one, thinking about it. If y'all tuned in to Saturday Morning Live, you will remember that I needed springs. And we have springs. A little bitty expensive bag of springs. Aren't they always, right? So that's a hundred. That'll get me through approximately ten ignitions if they don't spring out, as I demonstrated. When you're checking them, they like to Spring out. Spring out, get it. Ha ha. Ha ha, that was funny, Jason. Did I get, oh, no, one more. Get out of there. Oh, I got it. Okay, it's up there. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, don't cam up as much as I used to, so those will last a while. And lastly, we have the keys. To hang up. Uh, but I don't have all the spots available for it. And as a matter of fact, I had discovered that some of them were uh, not the right ones. So I'm going to have to go through, I think this is this one, and I think the number's wrong here, so I'm just going to hang it up. That's where that goes, but I think the numbering is actually wrong. This one I don't have a rack for yet, 4735, 4735 right here, 4735. I already cut this one, and unfortunately, it, uh, it did not, I, I went too deep, so... I'm hoping one day I'll run across a need for that so it's not a total waste on the blank. Oh wait, these go, let's go this way. And uh, so these, uh, I'm just gonna put them right here. They don't really go there. Basically on, on these, there's two hole sizes, bigger and smaller. And uh, yeah, we need to figure out which key is which. So we go to the Ilco book to the back and just look at the heads. Uh, that was 1730 maybe, or 1738, one of the two. Uh, but what we're looking for now is 5B, which is the round head. And that goes there. And then what other one did I get? No, okay, there we go. <laughs> 12B, 3F2933. We've got some gaudy ones that need to go up. So basically, I'm going to have to hang up uh, two or three more hooks just for these because I've got 12B and then I've got 5B, which I ordered six of, and uh, 9B. So 5B goes right here. Basically, the difference between them all is just minor variations in like blade thickness and width and height. So this one's a little longer. Now, I only ordered these because I took all of the 5B and I can cut them down. The blade thickness would help a little bit in some cases. I'm not overly fond of a thin blade. I'd rather cut the wards, side ward. You can't do that with the thinner ones. I'm actually gonna pull one of these off because I gotta finish somebody's key right here. Uh, so one of them's already sold. And 
what did we have here? 9B. 9B and 12B. Let's put 9B right here. We can move this guy down to the bottom. We'll look at that in a minute. We will look at that in a minute. So these were the 9Bs. Yep. And uh, that's really kind of a wasted hook right there. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. There's an old uh, railroad key. It actually goes to something. And two 650s. 650s aren't used a whole lot, so I'm just going to move those down as well and hang up all the 12Bs right here. See ya! See ya. And the 9Bs, we jumped up, whatever we have. We have a really wide flag on the 9Bs, 12Bs, whatever this is. Compared to 5B, you can see it's hugely wide, so I'm going to have to cut that down as well if I need it. Almost never in the U.S. market do we see ones that are that wide. However, it's not really a big deal to cut the tip off, cut the tip off, grind it down, and make one of those. So this would technically be... Technically be, what is this? What is this? These two also need to be sorted. Oh, here we go. This uh, 9B, is this a 9B right here? Was that what this is? I think so. Yep. Yep, it is. So I got four of those. Uh, this guy is a really wide flag, so I don't really know what that one is offhand. But let's put 9B there and uh, go ahead and hang up our 12Bs. Hey, hey, hey. And mark them. And then I'm going to come through and once again have to redo this whole area. 2933. Ugly, ugly. Let's see. Some people like them. Some people like them. You know, I did not know these tailpieces. These are, again, the Schlage tailpieces. They break all the time. I've done a video on that, and it turned out that video was kind of popular, and we get requests to sell these to people. So uh, I did not know it was a bag of 20. I just ordered, oh, look at my hair. It's all messed up. Kim did that. Uh, but this is a this is a sealed bag from Schlage, so they actually come in bags of 20. The nylon brush is not needed right now. We still have a good, I don't know, what is that, three-eighths of an inch? <laughs> They're too expensive. We've got to burn that one down a little bit more. So it goes uh, up here somewhere. Let me put those in my, uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, it's in the right spot on my hair. Anyway, I guess I'm going to leave early tonight because some, you know what, just decided to get our parking spot. Let's see, 534. Try to ask nicely by putting a sign up. They decided to take the spot anyway. Bitches. And again, these two. Just go around a gate, basically, to keep it shut, keep it from blowing open. So uh, those are just going to get put up. Somebody might want to buy one, but we always try to keep one here in stock. So that is the end of uh, unboxing and stocking times three. Again, two technically it was supposed to be two, but Kim added her sliding door lock. So don't forget, if you need a wildly expensive sliding door lock surface mount, then uh, hit us up in the comments. Just joking. We'll sell it on eBay or something. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. Have a great one. We'll catch you next video.